Hello, friends. Hello, hello. Uh, I'll just wait because it takes a minute delay because I am live. If you're watching after the fact, I always talk to myself for a minute, but it looks like I can see you guys. Hello, hello. Happy Friday night. How are we doing? Time for some Vicky fun. Yes. Hello. It's Good Friday here in Canada. So uh, it's been a holiday and it's been a whirlwind week. And I want to welcome everybody here. I figure um, we'll probably have a small group tonight, just an intimate group of friends. And that should be fun. So hello, nice. Yes, I put on some er rainbow earrings because <laughs> just so you know, I forgot. Like, I'm like, oh, it's Friday night because not normal routine, right? Because it's a holiday. Everybody's off. We went and have lots to talk to you about. Lots to talk to you about. So we went and did something today. We were out. And then we came back and then I'm like, oh, it's Friday night. Um, I haven't really planned anything for tonight. And then I was like, I wonder if anybody even cares if I do it because it's Easter weekend. And uh, I went on the board and people were like, yes, let's do something. So tonight is a layout night. We're just going to have fun and make a layout. No mixed media. We're just going to make a layout. I don't even think I'm going to stamp or ink or do anything. But I'm going to use this. So I ordered these. We, we are makers, new circle cutters are hard to, to come by. Like it came out in the fall and every time I placed an order, they were sold out. So they arrived this week. So we're going to use these tonight. Uh, I think it's going to be fun. I'm going to, I'm sorry, uh, Buffy and Fluffy are acting up tonight. Uh, we're going to cut some circles. So you, you don't have to have a circle cutter to play along. You could use a plate anything to cut the circle and then we're going to layer i have my friend paige evans i have some of her new um collection here i'm going to play with like dudes seriously look at can you see these i thought these would be fun to play with we'll do uh some a giant title with the circles and some ephemera coming out so some layered circle and rainbow we could make rainbows with it but i'm not i'm not going to do that tonight but you'll see so I added to vickybooten.com a lot of the things I'm going to be talking about. So if you want to check that out, I just added them literally while I was cooking supper tonight. So lots of fun things. Hello, Valerie. Hello, Natalie. Hi, Kari, Nadine, Nicole. Hi, friends. So any questions before we get started? This has been, I say it all the time, an incredibly busy, crazy week. I, with my amazing designer, Melissa, at American Crafts, wrapped up my new collection this week for, uh, that will come out in the fall. It is really, really beautiful. I am very excited. You guys are going to love it. We just up the game every time. So I was working on that, which it's hours of work. Like, we were doing papers this week and then I have to name all of the papers and then I select what goes in the 12 by 12 what goes in the 6 by 8 pad we did some basics that are going to be really fun things we've talked about they're in the paper pad uh, I finished kidding and shipped all of the vintage 10 plus layout page kits for next weekend and then I'm designing all of my classes for Scrap Fest if you guys are coming in Kitchener. So I'm going to share what I've made so far. So, so far, I think I've made eight double page layouts. I have just print shop left to do the class, but it's going to be so good. Yes, I did give Natalie a sneak peek of the new collection. It is really, really fun. So if you do go and check out VickyBooten.com and you want to shop for some of the stuff we're using tonight, it's all under what's new. So when you go on vickybooten.com, it's all under what's new. You're coming to Scrap Fest. So are you coming with me, Natalie? I need to know because my mama can't come. She's she's like, I can't, I can't do it. So um, I need help. I need an assistant. So I'm hoping Natalie will come. If not, Rich is like, I'll come if Natalie doesn't come. So he's fighting you for the position, Nat. So I need to know. So any questions? You got your box of goodies. Yay! So glad you're going to use a circle cutter. It looks very similar to Martha Stewart one. I have questions about the best way to center things. So we'll talk about it because I literally haven't even tried it. I just took it out of the box literally right before I went live. So I'm going to work through it with you guys, right? Um, I can't wait to see you in Adelaide. Me too, Sandra. 
that's the other thing that I, on, on top of all those things that I did this week, all of my orders and I had an incredibly stressful week because I thought I wasn't going to get a whole bunch of product until June for where to next, but it looks like I'm going to be able to move things around and just stay tuned for that. But yes, it was crazy, but all of those are done. 2025 cruises. Uh, I'm looking at that when I talked to it last week, Erica, but I haven't heard back from cruising crop. I will follow up after this weekend. Um, the one through the Panama canal. So we would do um, through the Panama canal it's 11 day cruise on celebrity. She was looking to see if she could get the, uh, the um, conference area. And then that one would also be Aruba, Bonaire and Curacao. So I'm looking at that one. It's a bigger one, just like the, the Greece ones are kind of the bigger cruise uh, and um, Alaska. So it'll be fun. 11 day cruise. I think there are three or four um, days at sea. So it could be like a full on Vicky scrapbooking, mixed media, paper crafting cruise. So I just have to find out about that. So I don't know yet, but when I know, I'll let you guys know. Hi, Jan. Um, okay. Any other questions? Do we have anything before I get started? Like lots of things to share. So tonight, what you will need is I just, I grabbed rainbow. I grabbed rainbow. I grabbed the circle cutter. So any product you want to use, mine is literally a mix of like 10 collections. I just grabbed pinks, blues, greens, yellows, purple, green. Did I say green? Teal, just uh, tone on tone patterns that we can cut apart and do something fun with. Okay. Hello, Danielle. How are you? Um, so yeah, so many things. The cruise is coming up to Alaska. There are some spots. If you want to join us in Australia, I'm not sure if they're filled. Michelle may have filled them already, uh, but the kits have been ordered for everything. And now the craziness with getting stuff shipped because shipping to Australia is, do you know that my shipping costs are going to be as much as the product costs? Isn't that fun? So uh, Australia and New Zealand are going to be special ones. It's just crazy, right? So um, what we'll talk later. I'm, I'm not so many things. I'm going to focus on a layout and relaxing tonight with you guys. So I want to talk to you about Scrap Fest. So Friday night, if you didn't know, there's still spots for that class left. And we are doing this. I'll show you because I have, I pulled tons of stuff. La, la, la. So we're using a Maggie Holmes collection for that one. And let me give you a little peeker of the layouts. I'm going to flip the camera around and we'll just get to it. We're just going to get to it. Okay. So we're good. We have like, um, we're doing a whole bunch of stuff this weekend. So if you're coming, uh, it's going to be tons of fun. And then I come home on Saturday night and then we go right into the vintage 10 plus layout class on Sunday. It is not a traditional class. It's just product I really liked. I put a kit together and we make it live. Um, I read someone commented that they didn't really love the, um, what was it? Uh, I don't know, like willy nilly or it, that it wasn't an organized class and they wish it were instructions. If it was a class like that, I wouldn't be able to do it because I just don't have the time to do all of that. So I am going to plan and sketch out the layouts I'm going to do. So I will post those, the sketches for the layouts um, in the link that I was supposed to send out today. I will get on that because um, I've got everybody's name ready. I just have to send out the email. But uh, for that is really is is more... Uh, let's just play and make, but it will be somewhat organized, but we'll cut as we go. So it's kind of like a class. I'm going to have plans for what I want to do. I will separate kind of all of my uh, bits. We'll talk about that right at the beginning where I've kind of clustered things because there's so much in that kit, my friends. It's huge that I'm going to kind of cluster it so it is organized, more organized than say the Spectrum Sherbet one was, Sherbet one is, but it's not a traditional class in the sense with written instructions and cutting diagrams and all the rest, but it'll be good. Um, you're going to join in access. It'll be really fun. If you just want to hang out, 
I didn't charge very much for that one, but it will go like I think it starts at 12:30. We're going to be going pretty late. So make sure you put something in the crock pot or you order some food, have some snacks ready cuz it's going to be just fun and creating with my friends. So that's what's going to be happening. So uh I think that is um all the things I want to talk about where I have to look at you, but I will uh flip the camera and then we'll get started. So my mother said, I'm happy you're going to Scrap Fest to help. I'm very sad I cannot go. It's a great experience. I'm very sad my mom can't come with me too. So any of my friends that will be joining me in Kitchener will have to send lots of love to Sheila because she will be sad that she's not there with us and it is our thing. But you know, just another one of those things that COVID took from us, right? This time. So uh, it will be fun though. Okay, so let's flip the camera and I have crap everywhere my creative space is like my brain right now <laughs> very many tabs open so let's do the things I'm gonna flip the camera here we go got a phone i don't want to shut it off and that could happen tonight because i'm a little a little uh discombobulated there we are so let's talk about the things that are going on um any questions did i miss them friends uh, yeah, a lot of you won't be able to play along tonight if you're just hanging out while you're making stuff for your Easter dinner or decorating eggs or getting um, lots of fun things ready for the holiday. I'm just happy you're here. Like always, it's recorded. You can play along whenever you have time. Your brain is, uh, how you doing, Keisha? Did you have your surgery? Did that happen yet? Um... But yes, my brain is, I don't, it is, it is frazzled right now. There is a lot. So we went and looked at a space to lease today, which I'm very excited about. So I can get some of the kidding and stuff out of my home and actually have uh, some separation in my life will be a good thing. Uh, but I was not going to come on tonight because I was going to take a break. And then when you guys said, yeah, let's just do a layout. I'm like, I can totally do that. Let's just create a layout today for fun and it will be good. So I'm going to go over, this is my tray. These are the things that I've added into my shop today to vickybooten.com. Look at this. So these are things I'm going to be using. Um, not tonight, but it's going to be coming. This peacock feather stamp from Bo Bunny. I ordered, uh, added a whole bunch of this new gingham garden. Uh, crepe paper collection. Uh, I have, oh my goodness, if you guys didn't order this, if you find this Brighton, because it's actually the designer who designs my collections did this Bow Bunny kit or collection. And holy moly, look at this one. It is not little measly, peasly, tiny little pieces. It's beautiful. So there might be a couple of these left in my shop i'm not sure but i will be keeping a couple for myself i love that um lots of this bow bunny i love this new collection pardon me simple stories the wildflower so there's some of that oh i might use this tonight flea market i really am loving that and it might make uh mix really nicely i think i can use that so these are just some of the things uh look at the stamp set I am in love. This is great for subtitles and dates. So this is really fun. Uh, and this is another papery pack. These are the best investments ever. Look how many pieces are in these things. Uh, it has 200 pieces. And then this, these are acetate sheets for Brighton. Can you see? They are gold foil acetate frames. So I might use one of these tonight. I, I grabbed a couple. But I just wanted to show you because I just added that stuff in. And these, I love these Paige Evans. These are so fun. These layered embellish or layered alphabet pieces, right? So I'm going to do something with that because I think they're a lot of fun. And uh, then I had some other page stuff from uh, her new collection, Blooming Wild. So look at lots of flowers tonight, lots of rainbow, alphas, and then all the different colored papers so we can decide what we're going to do. I know I'm not going to use anywhere near this, but I have that. I grabbed some uh, old sweet brush stuff, so I have that as well. 
So that's what I'm going to be working with tonight. But I wanted to show you something first. Uh, what do I search to find the first papery pack you showed with a butterfly? Uh, Amanda, it's in What's New. And it is the bright and papery pack. It might be sold out. You'll have to go in and look. It is quite beautiful. That one is really, really nice. But it is the Brighton papery pack from Bow Bunny. I may have stuff crash all over the floor. What does your creative space look like right now? Mine looks like a bomb went off in it. It is really a total disaster. So want to have a peek at what I'm teaching at Scrap Fest next week, because I will not be here next week. I will be off in Kitchener doing my thing. So on Friday night, it is called the Something Watercolor Class. And we are using this lovely new collection, the one I was just talking about, from, um, I think it's Maggie Holmes or Crate Paper. And look how pretty, I made a card. Do you see, look at the pretty card. So we're gonna be making a card. And then look at this double page layout. Can you guys see it? So this is the kit I added. I only have a few, it's what's left over because I ordered a couple extra. So this will come with instructions and color images. It will not be a live class, but if you need a kit for a crop or something, uh, we were only supposed to do three double page layouts, I ended up creating four and a card out of the kit. So it is on vickybooten.com under what's new. And uh, I think it's called the Gingham Garden, Gingham Garden Kit. So this is one layout we're gonna be making. Here's a second one. Have fun, right? This collection is really, really pretty. So that one. We're going to be doing Natalie's going to be there to help me and then look at how pretty this one can you guys see double and then this one so the only thing that's not in the kit are the stencils and the ink and I use the new cosmic watercolor from um, where to next right from where to next but uh it's not here yet i know aren't these beautiful it's a page evans uh it's a page evans thicker it's so pretty page evans vicky but like older collection and i will have some so if you're putting an order in for anything let me know and um i probably have some extra ones but seriously look how big this kit is you know what? Did I just lie to you guys? I lied to you. Did I lie? Ah, no, this is the one I have extras. <laughs> I don't have extras of this. Did I put Gingham Garden? Don't order it yet. Oh my goodness, Vicky. See, this is what when I try to rush something. It's the parasol kit I have extra of. So don't, I have to go in there and this is the one I'll show you because it's the one I did today. So this is the one I have extra of, not the gingham garden. I don't have extra of that. So that is the other kit. I'm going to come and shop. This is the kit that I have extra of. Look how pretty. So it will also be the same eight layouts. What did I put in my store, Natalie? Because, oh my goodness, I'm going to have to refund everybody if anybody goes and orders it. But this is the one, the new uh, Maggie Holmes yeah, so don't order it. I was a liar. <laughs> uh, do I frighten you? I probably should, right? But look how beautiful this is. They're both beautiful. They're both huge kits. Because this one is the one that comes with a full ephemera pack. All the ephemera packs and it comes with a papery. So this is the one. It'll be eight layouts as well. But Vicky um, should be getting more sleep at night so that she doesn't lie to you. But isn't it pretty? It's so pretty. So, yes, I lied. The gingham kit that's listed is not actually for sale. It's this one. Okay. So um, I cannot go in there <laughs> and change it. 
but this is the one that's for sale. So if anybody goes and uh, purchases it, sorry. Oh my goodness. I'm glad that you guys love me because this really is you getting to see inside my life because this is my life. And then I was trying to rush to make dinner tonight and um, no one was helping me. So I was yelling at them and I'm like, uh, Friday nights, I should not be cooking. I have to go hang out with my friends. And that's what happens. I was rushing and I put that kid in and then look what happens. So, um, yeah, let me do, I'm going to quickly do this because that's just going to create lots of stress. So just give me one second uh, and grab your stuff and we're going to make some layouts. So let me go and put that on hold. Uh, Cause yeah. So I can't see your comments for a minute. Just speak amongst yourself for a second while Vicki tries to correct her error. This is, I have to say, I'm pretty hard on myself, right? Where it's like, it's a one man show and I'm like, I make all these mistakes. But in the same breath, when I figure how much I accomplish in a week by myself, um, I should cut myself some slack, I think. So yes, I make mistakes, but always coming from a good place, right? So here, let me go and I will just make this inactive for right now. And then I will put the proper one on here. So let's go to draft and save there. Because I posted the wrong one, friends. Okay. So um, I will share that with you after. But I just thought because I had you here, right? Vicky had a stressful week. Most definitely removed it from my cart. So um, popcorn brain. Seriously, Julie, it's there are so many tabs open, right? Is that I wanted to get it up because I'm like, oh, people will be excited because I have extra of these kits. So I should get it up there. And then I'm looking at it and going, um, I posted the wrong kit. So <laughs> I should not make supper on Friday nights. It's too much. And everybody was just hanging out in their rooms while I was cooking. And then they're like, why are you miserable? And I'm like, you don't even want me to go there. You don't even want me to open up that can of crazy that is going on. But anyway, if anyone is interested, as soon as I get off tonight, I will post the proper kit, which is this really pretty one. It's this one that um, is this Maggie Holmes loveliness. And just to give you an idea, this is what you get in the kit. So this is your kit. There will be full color instructions printed. You don't have to download. They'll be printed. And it's the parasol collection. So you get two ephemera packs. Uh, there's a thicker. That's those thickers, Vicki, you just asked about will be in here with the little, um, are they? No, they're not in this one. And then the um, papery pack, the chipboard, and a whole whack of paper. So you can create uh, eight pages, four double page layouts and a card. Okay. All right. So let's talk about the new circle cutter from We Are Makers. It's not We Are Memory Makers anymore, right? Or We Are Memory Makers. So I want to show you when you get it, it's very small and light. It will cut cut up to 12 inches. So it cuts up to a 12 inch circle. And then let's see what the smallest circle it will cut is a four inch circle, which is perfect for me because I can use my circle punches up to that, right? Or my dies, but for bigger pieces. Now, anyone like this? So I have a big cutting mat. That cutting mat is underfoot all the time because I needed it today and I had cleaned up after Christmas, guess what Vicky couldn't find? My big cutting mat. So I'm going to try to do the cutting on here. If you are on the Alaskan cruise with me, hint, hint, don't purchase this, hint, hint, because it may be your little gift for cruising with me, hint, hint, hint. So if you're on the Alaska cruise, don't buy one of these because Hint, hint, it's not on there. Um, I don't think I would cut on a glass mat, Michelle, because I think you'll scratch it. Um, I would be using either a piece of cardboard or something, okay? So when you open it, it is it is like I've used cutters like this. The, there was a circle one from Fiskars with an arm that would go out. So you will just loosen and tighten, tighten, 
Titan. <laughs> oh, oh, look, I just broke it. I just broke the whole thing. Vicky, see, you guys, I told you, I asked you if you wanted me to come on live today. It should have probably been a, no, you have no right coming in here and going live. And it would have been true facts because Vicky just broke it. Did you watch that happen? So that would be the way it goes in. So I'm going to show you. That was on purpose to show you how this is assembled. I didn't break it by accident. I broke it to show you how it works. So I'm going to assume ooh, that it goes like this. Yeah, this is what you're getting tonight. So just be prepared for it. Don't loosen that too much but see that was easy to fix so there are little marks on here to show you where you're lining it up so even though it looked like vicky broke it i didn't there is a little cup in here it comes with three cutting blades in this little tool so you don't cut your finger off so you would put it the little tool see and it is like the fiskars one that i used to use so that is a little blade. So a little tip too is when the blade gets dull, I usually flip it before I will change the blade completely. So you take the little tool, you put the blade inside. Can you guys see that? The blade goes inside, see that? So you put the blade inside so you don't cut your fingers in the little tool. And then you put it in the little opening right here and slide it out, okay? So that is how you will use it. And then supposedly you just press down. So we will see how it works, right? And just press down on the arm as you cut. So let's find a scrap piece of paper and let's test and do that. Vicki, I feel your pain, but know what it makes us all feel a little more human. It's been a heck of a week here as well. And this is the most relaxing part of the week. Thank you, Jan. Seriously, don't you laugh? Like, you know, you are never going to get perfect and polished with me. I'm going to show you exactly what's going on in the crazy world of Vicky Booten. And it's usually a hot mess express. I'm not going to lie. Some days, you know, I'm literally just trying to put pants on. <laughs> Let me grab a piece of paper because I'm gonna use scrap for the first cut because I'm telling you, I've never used it, right? So let's make sure when I grab some paper that I'm not ruining my favoriteest thing. Okay, here we go. Just some scrap, right? We're laughing with you, not at you. You can laugh at me too and it would be okay because I'd be like, oh my goodness, friends. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Vicky's crazy. <laughs> but thank you for, I know some of you are like, oh my goodness. If you're new here, I apologize. Most days I'm a little better than today. But today was, I'm going to come on so I don't disappoint my friends, but I can't guarantee what you're going to get. And that's what this Friday night is going to be like. So let's see how we do this. So we're going to hold this down and then, oh, it's working. Look at this, friends. So just hold that down, press down, and cut around. Very fun. And we'll see if I I press I could press a little harder, right? But that is pretty freaking awesome, right? Pretty freaking awesome. So some of the questions too were like, how would you center and do like, so maybe you want to cut in the cut and stuff. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not, we'd have to play around with it. I won't be able to tell you tonight how to do that, but right, pretty easy. So this is tacky. It's like kind of a rubber base. So it just holds it in place and then you can cut your circles. So let's cut the smallest one. See, Vicky, because don't forget, Vicky kind of broke it. But you could draw on the back of something and just maybe center it. I don't know. We'll have to figure that out. But I don't know if you, like, and then I would press on the 
This is where your blade is. So don't press out here. Wherever the little turquoise knob is, that's where you want to put your pressure. And then you want to make sure you don't move this or you are going to um, your circle won't be centered, right? But very nice, right? Very nice. So what would you need? You need a cutting mat. I would not use your glass mat or you will slice right through. Um, I would think you'd scratch your mat. I would use, you know, self-healing. You need a self-healing mat or maybe some cardstock or cardboard. Uh, don't apologize. You're sharing your time and creativity with us. Always appreciated. Thank you, Heather. Uh, yeah, I'm still a dork. What size is that? Let's measure it. Because I went in as, I think it's a little bit less than four, Kari. Look. Yeah, three, almost three and a half, right? So I, oh, three and three quarters. And I don't know if it's because I broke it, but I think it's right. Like, see how the base goes in? So it will cut, but maybe it gets a little bajiggity because it goes in that deep or that short. So this is what my plan is for tonight. Are you ready? I would like to do a layout kind of like this. This is what's in my brain tonight for... Uh, what would be fun to make that isn't um, going to put me over the edge? Okay. So I, I put, I think, 20 of them in my store. I put 20 in my store on vickybooten.com. They're sold out on scrapbook.com. I have not put share sale links up to anything else. But like I said, this doesn't stay in stock. If you're coming on the Alaskan cruise, like I said, hint, hint, I wouldn't buy one unless you want to. But this is what I'm thinking there. I'm going to do one single page layout and I want to do something where I cut a big circle, a smaller circle. I want to use those big alpha for like maybe I'll print, let's say, hello, something like that. OK, so I want them to go in the circle and then I want to fill underneath this that's popped up with florals. I don't know, like a wreath kind of thing. What do you think? So like this circle, I might cut the back one maybe at uh, 11 inches. And then I'll figure out what to do the inside one. Because then I would think 9, 10, 11, 9, 10, 11. Maybe 8, 8. The inner one maybe will be 8 inches. We'll figure that out. Did you like that I had to do my fingers? Because I'm too tired. I can't do the maths tonight. But I think this will be fun, right? So I'm going to do something that is layered. Maybe a couple circles. So it's like a giant circular rainbow. Maybe we'll do another one. We'll figure it out. But with those big letters from Paige. Because they're really fun. So that's what we're doing. So let's do the things. But I wanted you to see the circle cutter. I have been trying to get it even just one personally from me from American crafts and it sells out. It sells out every single time because it's a pretty good tool. It's very light. If you're like, how heavy is it? I would say it's, mm, I don't know, a quarter of a pound. I would say it's not very heavy. Um, the whole makeup of it is pretty basic. Loving it. Okay. So if you were on the fence, not sure if you wanted one, I think, so far, I'd say I am very much sold. I love it. So let's grab my box of magic. So like I said, I think hello is going to be my main title with these um, awesome new letters from my friend Paige. So uh, do you, if you don't have these letters, are you excluded from playing? Definitely not. You could just use uh, your Cricut or your Silhouette or whatever you have on hand. But look how fun these are. So it is like her dice, right? Like you would cut these out with your uh, Silhouette and then you would layer your pieces inside and she made it as a main product. So I'm loving that. I'm going to open that up and um, excited to use these. It's blooming Wild. I know I'm going to use these florals and I think this uh, floral bits flea market from Simple Stories and the bits from Paige's Blooming Wild will be pretty. 
I can do a subtitle with, I love these freaking thickers. Look how fun these are. Can you guys see that? Very cute. And then I have her words as well. So I'm going to use that. And then this is what I grabbed. This is going to be my base. So I'm going to use this piece from um, Print Shop as my base of my layout. Because I feel like it's, it is mixed media without me having to do any work tonight. The products are from uh, who? Paige Evans. P-A-G-E Evans. They are listed on my website, vickybooten.com, under what's new. Um, I didn't do any share of sale links, but if you do use any of my previous links, if you're shopping, I very much appreciate it. Uh, it costs you nothing, but it helps me spend these Friday nights with you. Okay, so I'm going to use this as a base. I think this, if I'm going rainbow, will be fun, right, for the base of my layout. And then I grabbed a bunch of Sweet Rush colors. So I have some Sweet Rush in here. Look at this one could be pretty, maybe. This one is a Heidi Swap Sun Chaser. If I want something that kind of rests the eye, I can use this black and white. Ooh, that might blind you. I'm not going to use that. That does not look nice on camera. Uh, I have this blue one too. We'll decide which color works best. So do you see what I'm saying? I'm going to do rainbow tonight, but I am just grabbing basic patterns that will work well together. If I want one that is something that ties all the color together, I have this one. And then I grabbed cardstocks in a bunch of colors that match uh, the collection that I'm using, right? And then I think this one could be fun. This navy could be fun. So I don't know what we're doing yet, but we know we're going to be cutting some circles, right? We're going to be cutting some circles. And then I have all this pretty to work with from... I literally just went and I had emptied all of my leftovers in a big bag. I just grabbed a handful of it and threw it on the tray. So that's how I roll. I don't even know what's in here, but I know the colors will match, right? So do I scare you tonight? It's a little scary, isn't it? My lines do play well together, right? Um, they do play well, so it'll be good. I'm so excited. I have the circle cutter and the letters from Paige. Woo -woo! because I do not have a machine. So can't wait to see your finished page. I'm excited too. So let's decide if this is going to be my base. We want a bigger circle. I want a, a fairly big circle, which I'm thinking 11 inches. So let's measure and see. Do we think that will fit? I'm going to go smaller. I'm going to say my circle is going to be either 10 inches or 10 and a half because I want it to fit inside the yellow as the base. And then let's decide, this is what will determine how small the next circle will be because I want these to fit around that. They're three inches. So that would be, I'm gonna put the next circle is gonna be seven inches, is going to be my main circle. So the main circle in the design is going to be seven inches. And then the big one, what did I just tell you guys, 10 and a half? So seven inches, and then I think I'll do a couple lighter, uh, smaller ones as well. I think I think it'll be funny. Funny. I meant I think it'll be fun, not funny. Jingling. So I'm thinking my word is going to be hello. So let's start with that. Let's start with that. Hello, it's me. All right. Oh, I'm going to love this. Let's find some L's. Oh, there's an O. How fun is that? No, it's a G. It's a G. There's some L's. And then let's find the O. They are not in, I don't think, alphabetical order. Look at, I love it. They are fun. And you know, the price point, 
might scare people off because when you think about it, you get a lot in here, right? I don't even know what the box says. What do you get? You get 136 pieces in here. Used for card making, scrapbooking, or other creative projects. Uh, was the Adele cover singer on your cruise? Yes, she was. Was she on yours, Cara? Yes, she was. I just wish she would have sang um, some, uh, I forget. There's one really upbeat Adele song that I absolutely love. And I wish she would have sang that one. I would have, she was very good though. Very good. Yes, because Rich and I just got off a cruise and Devin and I might be going away in two weeks. So don't be mad, but. I'm going to take the breaks everywhere I can get them. Seriously need it. So let's see what we have. That's for the queue. So let's see what our color choices are, right? Oh, there's an L and an L. Let's put all the L's so I can pick what I want to use. Let's put our O's out there when we find them. Hello, it's me. Mm -hmm. You know, it's funny. Oh, did you like my, do you like my new manicure? It's in Easter colors. Isn't that fun? So you'll laugh because I did not realize I sing all the time. So I was, I guess in, while well, I was getting my nails done and I just randomly singing while she's doing my nails and you, you want funny, like this would probably mortify some of you. So I was in there. And they had like a mic, you know what I mean? Like a, like a, a mic you could sing in that is like a karaoke mic. And they made me sing the one day and Devin was with me and she was mortified because she's like, if they ever tried to make me do that, I'm running. I don't even care if my nails aren't done. I'm out of here. <laughs> they made me sing on this mic. And I'm like, no, really, I'm good. I'm okay humming the songs. I don't really want to sing in the middle of the nail salon, but I guess they really enjoyed my off key singing. I, I'm trying to think of not the rumor song. It's kind of like, I can't remember. It's in my head, but I can't remember. So I'm liking this. O. I'm hoping that I can make all the rest of it work. This L I wish there was a different color for that L, but there is not. The green for the E, and I forgot to get H's, friends. Did you notice that? It's kind of playing in the back of my mind, the Adele song, but I can't remember. Not rumor. Rumor has it she's the one who's leaving before. Rumor has it. No, not that one. It's kind of got that kind of like poppy beat, right? poppy beat. I'm trying to re remember what it is. It's kind of in the back of my head. I think it's the one of the new ones when she came out with the new albums album. It might have been. Oh, there's an H. What do we think of the light blue? That's fun, right? But it's plaid. I didn't see any other H's. Did I just miss it? Because what would I like if I could have any color for the H? Maybe like this would make me really excited if that is in here. Or like this. Like look at that R. That's fun. There's a light blue H. Yep. What did you guys, did you find them already if you have this set? What is in here? There's got to be some more H's. There was more than one H in the uh, thing. Like one of these light blues. I would love that with the stars on it. There's a yellow one, but it doesn't work, right? Because it's yellow. Was that my only options, I think? Well, the polka dots would make me super happy. But I think we're just going to go with it. I think there's only two H's. Rolling in the deep. I like that one, too. No, it's it's playing in my head, but not enough of it that I can pull it out. It has not turned into an earworm yet, the Adele song, right? Yeah, you could use it and cut a template. That's a great idea, uh, Natalie. If I really don't like it, Natalie's idea was great. 
trace around the shape and cut it from any paper. She's so smart. No, it's upbeat. It's not like a slow one. Easy on me. It is upbeat. And now I can't remember it. It's in my head. You, you guys got to keep, just keep telling me the, um, the uh, Adele songs and you're going to, somebody's going to say it and I'm going to be like, yep, that's the one. That's one. But it's just in the back of my head, but I can't pull it out. Can't pull it out. Okay, I'm going to put these up here. Boop, boop. No, Easy on Me is like a ballad. Like it is, uh, and I know she does not have that many upbeat songs, right? Because Adele, that voice, right? A lot of them are more. Not Set Fire to the Rain, no. Nope, it's not that one either. See, maybe whoever tells me says the song first, you might win a prize tonight. Because then you can help Vicky, who's like really having a hard time figuring out what it is. I think my first color is going to be out of cardstock. No, not Chasing Pavement. It's not that one. Although that is probably one of my favorite Adele songs, but it's like, that's not it. So my background is going to be cardstock, maybe orange. I think that'll be fun with all of these colors, right? If I do orange, so it sits on the base and then they don't compete with the patterns. No, nope, nope, none of these so far, friends. So this is going to be fun when Vicki goes to do cut this size on my cutting mat that isn't big enough. No, oh, it's... Do, 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 boo, do, do, do. What is it? I can't remember. I can't remember. Well, and I'm hoping when you name it, I'll be able to remember. That won't be a fun little game, will it? Did we decide 10 and a half? Is it Send My Love? Can you sing it to me, Vicki? Is that the one? Help. Is that the one? Mm -hmm. See, now Vicky's going to have to play it on her. Uh, I have to find it. So I'm going to have to look. I will look up the song and whoever named it first, that is who will uh, win. Uh, how about this? Everyone who says that, I will enter your names. Who, everyone who picks a song, when I go through, I'll put your names in and I'm going to give one of these away. All right. So, you know, there you go. We we'll figure it out, right? But um, now look at this. So we got to figure out, right? That was a question is how to figure out centering it on the page. So I would think if it's going to be 10 and a half, I have to make sure, right, when I center this, that it's going to fit in this page, right? Is that going to fit all the way around? Because you do kind of have to figure out, right? So I'm not pressing it down, but I'm just making sure it will fit on my page before I cut, right? So I'm just going around like that, making sure. That seems bigger than 10 and a half, doesn't it? I wonder if it's because Vicky turned this around. That is, so do you see what I'm looking at? Because I feel like this is more 11 and a half. Like, do you think when I broke the whole thing, if I put this in backwards and that's where I could go in deeper, that what I was cutting there is going to be closer to 11 and a half. Did you guys notice that? Because it almost went to the edges of the page. So remember when I dropped this out of here? 
I am wondering, let's check this out now, if I put this in backwards, right? Maybe it's supposed to go that way. That's what I'm thinking, because that looked too big. It shouldn't be go out that far. That might be it. So everybody who leaves a comment, I'm going to give one away on, uh, you just have to leave a comment on Facebook. And when the, um, let's see if this is right now. No, that wasn't right. Look at, I had it right the first time. So let's just see what happens when I cut it. I just have to trust it should be this way. If you guys leave a comment in the regular comment section tonight of, fate of YouTube when this video is done, so not in the live section, right? You have to leave a comment. Oops, what are you doing, Vicki? Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, that's for sure the right way. Um, leave a comment in the regular comment section of YouTube and just comment on Facebook. I will give two of them away. I will randomly select two names and give two of these cut cutters away, right? So it doesn't, you don't have to list a uh, Adele song. Just in the regular comment section after, please. Leave a comment, any comment, and I will draw. See, this does not look like 10 and a half, to be honest with you. Look at, maybe it's because the cutter's in here. Okay, so just trust. I'm just going to trust. And it all fits on here. I'm going to have to move it, though. You know that, right? So you guys are going to look at this and go, well, that is difficult, but I don't have my big cutting mat, right? So here we go. I'm trying to cut 10 and a half. So I know what the key will be is to not move the center as I have to shimmy this up to get it on the cutting mat. Okay. So I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay. And just continue. This is a pretty big 10 and a half, but maybe not. Look it, friends. Pretty good, right? Did that make sense? Everything I just said there about when I go to give away? Because I'm sure some of you are like, what is she talking about? <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time, right? Fun, right? Look how fun. And then the letters are going to go like that. So you just need to leave a comment for two chances to win. You can leave a comment on Facebook and then you leave not during the live, but in the regular comment section after the, the live ends and I will draw it uh, next Friday. Okay. So that'll give everybody a chance this week with all the craziness with the holiday. And I will draw two winners for the circle cutter. Isn't this going to be fun? Right? And I am going to cut now. Because all this pattern's going on, I think that I want to cut one that these circles sit inside. I love this. I'm not going to lie. I love this. I grabbed all those pattern papers and I'm not going to hardly use any of them. So look, I think this could be fun. I'm going to do it. So this one. Now we could do kind of neutrals, right? So that when we add all the flowers and stuff, it's not all competing. If you don't like the patterns too that I picked, you totally could do what Natalie said and trace it out of your pattern paper, right? You totally could do that. But I don't want to do a ton of pattern because it's going to be um, a lot. 
So I might do this. I might go very kind of tone on tone. And then a big piece of cardstock in the middle. What do we think? I think that's pretty, right? So let's cut another circle. We decided it's going to be, I think, around, I'm going to do seven inches. Let's see what the seven inch one will turn out like. Let's do a seven inch one. Well, and you guys know I'm a circle lover. So this tool is definitely going to be my friend. So let's decide. I'm going to go to this side. I'm going to make sure it fits in there and here. So that'll work. Okay. Press. See, Vicki was cheating. Make sure you're pressing. And even, I don't think it's a bad idea if you're afraid it's not going to line up perfectly, don't cut it right to there and you could always finish that off with an X-Acto blade. I don't think Scrappy Guy's a troll. Julie. I think he's one of our friends. Was Is something going on there that I'm missing? No, he's, he's naming songs and uh, scrappy guy. That's the song, right? Send my love to you, little love. Treat her better. That's the song. That is my favorite Adele song. Just so you know. Send my love to you, little love. Treat her better. Gotta be all the alcohol. No, you ain't friends no more. We ain't kids no more. Is that what that song's called? Look it. Oh my goodness, I love this so much. Do you love this? So I'm going to go with a bigger one now in the lighter color. Do we like that? Or should we go in purple? Because I didn't pull any purple. That is my favorite one, right? That's it. Thank you. Send my love to you, little lover. And I don't know the words. I just make it up because that's the other thing I do, right? But yeah, I love it. I'm going to go purple and I'm going to go bigger than this one. Oh my goodness. I love this so much. Is that what that song's called? I threw stuff on the floor, so I'll have to make sure. Oh my goodness, somebody come and clean this room for me. So do you wanna hear exciting news? I went out today and I looked at a space to lease. So I went out today and I looked at a space to lease so that I can expand my business. Because remember, we've been talking about forever that I want to do stamps and stencils and dyes and make mixed media easy for everyone. So the things that I draw and do, you guys could buy them in art that you could just use. And uh, I'm going to go eight and a half for the next one. So, so far, right, friends, we had ten and a half, eight and a half, and seven and a half. That's the sizes that I did. So I went out and it's going to be perfect. So everybody just pray for me that it all goes through and I hear on Wednesday that we can get it and I'm going to be leasing a space so that I can grow this business and we can do more awesomeness. And that's really where we can just start doing all the things that I talk about. Right. So I'm hoping. Okay. Let's do, I'm going to have to move it though. So I'm going to go look at, and I'm going, do you notice I'm cutting both ways? Did you guys notice that? And it, it's bubbly because my, my cutting mat is not straight. So it's not that this makes your paper lift. It's that Vicky's stuff is janky. So now I'm going to move it without moving it in the center, just so it fits on my cutting mat. So, right, you make do with what you have. And I couldn't find my big Fiskars cutting mat. So I just have my little mini one and hope that it's lined up. There we go. 
Okay, so you don't have to name the song for a chance to win. All you have to do is comment and I will draw names. Oh, are you ready? Question, late to the scene. What is a size circle min max? Four inches to 12 inches, Kristen. Four inches to 12 inches. So look, now I love this. It's almost like, I don't know, like, um, kind of reminds me of, uh, well, a bullseye, which I freaking love. Can you look at guys with this? We could do pie, pie shape pieces too. How freaking fun is this? I love it. And it's inexpensive. Like it retails for, I think 20 on us site. And I think I put it on mine for 25, which with the exchange rate is cheaper. If you do, cause it, right now, I think the U S dollar is almost 40 cents. It's like 36. So, um, it's good. Right. I love it. Now, what do you guys think about, do you agree with me that what if I do another one right here, just to break up the pattern on a cardstock? I, I would like to, so maybe seven and three quarters ish. Let's try it. If I don't want to use it on here, I can use it on something else. So do we all, so what Matt we could pink mat or green mat. It's going to be pink or green mat. So this is what's going to be our deciding factor. Green mat. I think green mat and I'm going to do a little pink circle, right? So see what I'm saying? I just want to separate. Look, oh, fun, right? Or I like this and I'll tell you why, because, um, I, it's, very bright and I just want something a little bit more subtly subtly okay that is the song that was the song I'm loving this okay so let's go cut a little one what do we decide it's slightly bigger than seven and a half and then we're gonna start putting the layout together how quick was that tonight even if with all my uh craziness so we're going to go, I'm going to go almost eight, almost eight inches. So it's going to be like some kind of weird number in there. And just go with that. Okay. I'm going to go pink, right? Because then I would like to use, so see what, how to test if you're like to make sure it fits. I'm just not pressing. So that will fit. Move that up a bit. I'm just going for it. Here we go. Let's just go for it. Press on the little turquoise bit. It is very easy to use. I would recommend a self-healing cutting mat. I love it. And then we could use all of the ones that are left over. These all could be bases on like a layout, right? Like, look it. Look how fun right there, my friends. Look at, oh my goodness. So using uh, the negatives and positives could be very fun too, right? Look at fun. So for my friends that are cruising with me, we're going to be doing some fun stuff with the circle cutter. Okay. So these are going to go in and you could do it almost like a everlasting gobstopper. That's what this reminds me of. So you could make it where they're centered. You could make it where it's going off the side a bit. I'm going to center mine. Okay. So I'm going to only attach it in the middle. Could you imagine a whole bunch of little circles? Love it so much. Have you there? I was going to say, have you guys seen? <laughs> have you seen my adhesive? And I found it. So I'm just going to tack these for now, right? And I'm going to tack that. Centered. I'm just going to center everything-ish. It does not have to be perfection. Love it. And center here. And I'll tell you why I'm not completely tacking it down. So if I want to pop anything up, I can. Okay. And then they're going to, it's going to go on there somehow like that maybe but i might maybe this one comes down oh, i kind of dig that let's see and then let's look 
So it is four letters. So I'm going to say that will kind of go centered like that. All right. And E ish. All right. Digging it. Now let's like see, because this is going to be a lot of color for me, right? A lot of color for me. I almost, there's fun things that I would do here. Do you want, want to know something that I would mix media this? And I think it would be fun is you could make shaker boxes out of these, or um, I would put some glossy accent and some beads just glued inside of these. Don't you think that would be fun? Like if you put it on your background, like whatever you want to do, right? Because this is a lot. This is going to be a lot of pattern mixing for me. But let's just, let's check it out. But I think it would be fun to um, put some. Uh, I'm going to go with it. Just go with it. I'm not going to overthink this. some seed beads or something in it would be kind of fun, right? There we go. I think that's fun. Glossy accents with beads inside, I think would be fun. These are uh, Paige Evans ones with her new Blooming Wild, I think the collection is. But look, how fun is that? And I do have them in my store, but it's going to be one of those things. They're pricey, right? Because it's a big pack of letters. So when you guys ordered your vintage uh, 10 plus Leo kits, I thought more of these would sell. And they didn't because the price probably throws you off. But it's the scale of it, right? They're big. So let's look now what we can do here. A cruise porthole. That would be totally fun, Kristen. Could totally do that. So many things. So let's look at what's in here. So you could keep it pretty simple and we could put our mat on and then you could just kind of, right, layer some ephemera off of the side. Or what I thought would be fun, let's see what we could do, is putting some underneath like a layer. I thought like that. I wanted to kind of, maybe not the whole circle, but feed some in. Like that. And they could go in both layers too, or all the layers, right? Thought that would be fun. Scale will matter. Now I'm doing this live, which makes it a little harder. So just bear with me because, right, if you were kind of playing with this on your own, and Vicky came in here blind, I had no plan for tonight, right? Remember I said I wasn't even sure if I was going to come on tonight? because I'm tired. Dudes, it's a lot. Again, 24 double-sided, so 48 pattern papers, plus extra ones for the paper pad, plus the six by eight paper pad, two ephemera packs, a whole bunch of fun new SKUs that are coming. All of that has been going on while at the same time shipping orders, uh, fulfilling, mailing, uh, creating layouts. It has been awesome, but it's a lot, right? Hello. How do I say? Joyce teen, Joyce teen. Hello. First time chatting with you. Very happy to have you. Hi, Carrie. How are you? Um, hi, Pamela. And now I know what I'm doing tomorrow with my color study leftovers. Definitely. So all I'm doing right now is picking the style of flowers I like out of here. Okay. So you know what happens. It's kind of hard sometimes thinking on the fly with no plan. 
and I have no plan for tonight. So I'm going to at least get the bones of this layout done. But I know, I know that I'll probably come back and add some things. I know, right? Thank you, uh, Carla, for welcoming uh, Joyce Teen. Right? We love uh, new people finding us. So tonight is just random. Some nights we do mixed media. Some nights we just talk. <laughs> some nights we just do scrapbook page. Some nights are cards. Tonight I needed something that was colorful, fun, easy, and I could just connect with my friends here on um, YouTube and Facebook. And we're doing the things, right? And it's turning out better than I had hoped for. I have to say, I'm really excited with how this is looking. I love the color. See what I'm saying, friends? You could go big if you don't want to cluster and just do like one main cluster, or you could fill in with flowers. These are really pretty, Paige. I really like this collection. Very fun. And you know that I use my own product with American Crafts, and I also support my friends and their beautiful art as well. So I have kind of all the same... I love the art of this style of flower, right? This kind of really kind of loose representation. So I'm going to do that. So can I tell you, guess what reveals coming soon? Guess what I ordered uh, this yesterday? My new Christmas collection. So if you're a store owner out there, it went out in an email blast this week. Email blast went out. So guess what Vicky ordered? Guess what's hitting the stores in May? Christmas. Yes, you heard me say it. So I'm not going to make you purchase it in Christmas, but I am going to have to put it up for sale because I have to order all of it and pay for it. But um, we're going to do Christmas this year before I leave for, um, see the little thing? Boop. Put your tools away because I'm done with this now. And then it's ready for another day. Um, I am going to be doing our Christmas weekend event. I'm thinking, well, it's going to be in October. I think it's going to be in October this year. And what's going to be really excited about that is um, you're going to have your album ready in plenty of time to use it for your December daily documenting December. Um, because if I don't do that, I'm not, I'm gone for the whole month in November is, uh, it's going to have to be in the beginning of December. And I think it's too crazy. So how does everybody feel like that? Feel about that is this is how it will work. Where to next weekend event is going to be in June. Um, the Christmas one. And I'm going to tell you what my collection is called. It's called peppermint kisses. It's very pretty. It is going to be in October. And then the new collection that I almost just told you the name of it, and I can't, um, is going to be in January again. So um, I think it's going to be perfect, the timing, right? So I'll put the Christmas kits for sale this summer. I will sneak it as soon as I have pieces of it. And then I will uh, put the fall collection for sale in the fall, but we'll teach, we'll do it after Christmas. So it gives us something to look forward to. And it gives you guys something to ask for for Christmas. Cause I know a lot of husbands, significant others, daughters to their moms buy those kits. So I think the timing's going to work really well. So even though I'm going to make you buy Christmas early, um, it will ship then in the end of the summer and then we'll have it all ready with lots of planning and prep for October. So that is how it's going to work this year. Okay, friends. So just kind of mark your calendars because then you, it spreads out the spending. Cause I know for some of you it's hard, but I don't have anything set up where we can do it. Um, like in a payment plan. I just, again, Vicki, look at, I couldn't, I didn't even post the right kit. Can you imagine if I had to figure that stuff out? <laughs> Are there albums? Either your next collections. Yes, Debbie. There are albums for both collections and they're freaking beautiful. So I'm just going to say that. Yes. Wait till you see the Christmas one. Peppermint Kisses. That'll give you a hint. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's turquoise, pink, greens, and reds. And it is a little bit more fun, but still traditional. 
So uh, it's going to be very fun. You guys, I think, are going to love it. And it's going to be a big, huge kit. I'm going to add everything from the collection except for washi tape and cards are going to be in the kit box. So everything is going to be in it with some add-ons and tons of card stock. I ordered tons of stuff. And I limited my number of kits. Because the other thing, if uh, Christmas excites you um, or you want to do a second one, uh, whatever the last one, Evergreen and Holly, was that my last Christmas cl collection? I'm going to be putting that kit on sale because I have extras um, in the next month. So be watching for that. If uh, you didn't get to do it, maybe you still want to do it. You want to take it to a crop this summer. I will be putting those on. Or maybe you have like five friends that you want to get together and do something this summer at the cottage. Uh, I will be putting those kits on sale. Okay, so it's going to be fun. So let's finish this. I talk too much. So things I notice, like there's going to be a word that goes in this O because it just to me needs to. So we're going to be filling these in. I'm going to put, really, you could put two photos. I think two photos would look fun on here. And then some kind of little band. Ooh, I love it. So this just came to my mind. Hi, honey. You, right, Rich just came to show us. He has, a, I bought him a, a hat with a llama on it. He wore his hat down here so everybody could see. So I'm going to put a banner right across the bottom with some words on it. Okay, let's make this. Mickey, stop the talking and let's finish this. Because the, the people are going to be like, okay, stop talking, lady, and make your things. Didn't I glue this one down? Not yet. Yeah, it is. It's glued. Uh, so maybe do we put it all the I don't think all the way around let's do the things let's cut the mat and then fill it in so we can finish it Boop. okay so I'm gonna put my little stack here but loving it what do we decide I have green left what can my banner piece be? Let's figure that out. Oh, look at this could work. Right? I love this. So I'm going to cut a banner out of that eventually. That's going to be a piece that goes right across the bottom. A little banner. And then my mats. Do you want me to keep it traditional? Let's see. Will a four by six fit nicely on here? It's going to be, I'm going to go four by five. I'm going to do a four by five and then maybe a three by four. Let's try that. Let's see what that looks like. Okay. So Rich's stickers came in. So the next order that you guys place when it ships, you're going to have a packed by sidecar. Yeah, I did. I got it. The stickers arrived. He is a very happy dude. So I'm cutting a four by five and a three by four mat. Hi, Tracy. Right, and a three. Question, do you have a fall collection and a Christmas collection coming out or just Christmas? Both, Marlo. Um, my fall collection isn't, they're not super themed because remember I have to use the collection for months. Before the next one comes out. Oh, I look at friends. Do you love that? I'm loving that. Okay. Very much liking that. And then my banner across the bottom. So I will have a, I'm going to say that banner is going to be, let's start with two and a quarter inches. And then we'll decide if we have to trim it down. So I will have a fall collection. That is not completely fall themed, but definitely has my fall collections are always uh, with a more mature palette, if that makes like a deeper palette. So I'm, oh, I'm digging this freaking layout so much. Hi, Janet. Did I miss any questions, friends? Sorry if you're not feeling well, Carla. So like, look at a little banner at the bottom. That's going to go smaller because I'm covering all my art. So I'm going to go, let's see what two inches looks like. If 
but you guys get the gist, right? So that will go at the bottom, and then I can put a subtitle on it. So I don't know I, here. I don't want all that dark. I want all of the color to kind of show. So I'm going to cut some of that off. I'm going to cut a V. And then let's do this. to it if you wanted to. I like that. What do you guys think? It might get narrower. We'll see because maybe it should be narrower. I'm going to lose a lot of my space, but I'm loving this. And then I'm going to put something in the middle of the O, I know. So hello. See, I could put hello, it's me. And so we have, let's see what we have, like force myself to use stuff, right? Hello, happy. Hello, true story. Oh, I like that. Hello, true story. And then we could do a subtitle. Hello, awesome. Hello, amazing. I kind of like hello, true story. Let's see. Hello. What can I say? Hello. Um, with true story, help me because I want to use it now. And you know, I just kind of make titles up. I don't even have a layout right now, uh, photos, right? So I'm going to use this and I'll show you. I think this will be fun, but hello, this true story. Hello, a true story. Hello. It's a true story. What do you guys think? Cause look at, I like that. And then I can put another frame there. Hello, the true story. How about that? Hello, the true story. I don't know where I would journal on here. Maybe hidden journaling with a little tab underneath it. Could be kind of fun. But look it. I'm journaling. But right? My words already. Hello, happy true story. Yes, it's a true story. I like that. Hello, it's a true story or the true story. Hello, the true story. Maybe the, because it'll fit, right? The true story. And we could also, if we wanted to, do like this. You know what I mean? Like that. We'll see something. And the, hello, the true story. Hello, dot, 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 true story. I like that too, Kristen. I don't know what to do. Hello, my true story. I like that, Sally. I, I will not be making a double page, Pamela. I do that for you guys, but you know, for the most part, don't be mad at me, but it's not my thing. I just do it for classes but I am very much a single page scrapbooker and my nails do not allow me to actually lift anything. But I am loving the little floral yumminess that's going to go on here. But remember, I think I'll stick with. Oh, I love that. So pop dots. I'm going to pop dot it. Maybe I'm going to do kind of like a th in threes, if that makes sense. So I am going to go here, here, and here. That's where I'm going to start and see if that works. Let's see if it works. Right? Do we like that? Yeah, just an idea. 
your single page or two, right? How about a small flower in the O? I'm not going to put a flower in there, but something's going to go in the O. I'm going to find a circle, but the reason I don't want a flower is because I'm using all these flowers throughout, but totally something's going in the O, Kari. I am picking up what you're putting down. I love it. I love that idea too. Okay, I like that leaf is going to go somewhere. We have this, these leaves. Oh, with the navy. I'm digging that. We can put it in our layers. Loving it. Don't need a lot, right? We did so much with the circles. We don't really need a ton of stuff going on here. But we need something else going on over here. Well, we have this green. I would like to tie some yellow in over there. Do we have a yellow one? We have another pink one. Might have to use this one, even though it is not the same style as the other ones. But it will work, right? There. And... I love this. If you notice, I don't commit completely until I layer the pieces I want in here. So I will commit, but only after I kind of decide what's going on here what do you think though fun right um i've covered up all my flower here so let's move that over like that get my little pokey do So guess what I'm doing tomorrow? I forgot to tell you guys. I'm going to a concert tomorrow. Guess what? I, who I'm going to see? Pitbull! Baby, 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 baby. I'm on fire. Baby, 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 baby. Right? Fireball. Devin and I are going to see Pitbull tomorrow. I don't think this needs much more. Flower wise, I'm kind of just liking it. Maybe one of these guys. Oh, yeah, I love it. Yeah, I'm going to Pitbull. We are sitting right in the front, three seats, three seats from the front. Yeah, and I will pretend I can speak Spanish. So I just make the words up. Devin was laughing at me today when we're in the car because I sing them, even though I have no clue because I do not speak Spanish. So I just make this stuff up. So I did that in the car, making up my Spanish, non-Spanish speaking. Just make the stuff up. It's what Vicky did. I've seen him before. This will be my second time, right? So he does like pyrotechnics and it's very fun. And then next month we'll be talking about Vicky's uh, meet and greet with Billy Idol because that is in May right? You saw them in Vegas. Be prepared for a lot of thongs and butt jiggles, but the energy was amazing. I can handle it, Sherry. I know. Don't judge me, but I know that he will have dance. Like, all you got to do is listen to his music. And I know some of you out there are like, I cannot believe that's what she's going to see. Yes, I am. Don't judge me. I love Pitbull. I love Pitbull. There. Oh, I love it. There. Okay. I'm going to commit. I'm going to commit. I love this. It's Vicky and Paige are having fun on this layout, right? So now I'm going to tack stuff down because I already know I'm going to find like some kind of little frame for this, but I'm going to commit with foam dots and glue. Okay. Yes. I'm going to see Billy Idol and I'm doing a meet and greet and I'm going by myself. Just so you know, front row, Billy Idol in the month of May. I just have decided I'm doing all of the things. That's what Vicky's decided. I'm not missing out on anything. I'm very excited to go see 
and uh, Billy Idol. I loved him growing up. Those are the posters. Billy Idol and Duran Duran were the posters I had in my room. I'm going to those concerts. I'm very excited about it. Right? Very excited about it. Um, yeah, I love him. And I love uh, Pitbull is one of my favorites. And Devin likes him too. So we're going. We're going tomorrow. Um, I will not be dressed like my 19-year-old daughter. But now I'm like, what does one wear to a Pitbull concert? You will laugh. I look this kind of stuff up. What did I just look up? You would have laughed. Of what? Do, oh, because I went to a drag race um, concert or show too, because I absolutely love season 14. So I did that, got on the go train, went to Toronto. And then I had to look up because I'm like, I don't know what an, an old lady wears to that. It was excellent. Loved that. And now I'm going to see Pitbull and Billy Idol. See, so I'm just sticking those with some glue, friends. And now let's start popping some of them up, right? A big chain chain with a huge medallion. You saw Glass Tiger and Honeymoon Suite. I went to a Glass Tiger and Honeymoon Suite concert when I was in high school. I love them, right? Don't forget me when I'm gone. My heart would break. I have loved you for so long, right? Yeah, I went to see them at our local arena. Loved it. Okay, and let's glue this one down. Oop, so see what I'm doing, friends, is I'm layering them under the different under the different sections. You also could go and pop up some of these sections too, right? I would have loved that, that Valerie, if she didn't have a family commitment, she was going to go to the Billy Idol concert and film me from uh, the upper level. Wouldn't that have been funny? Yeah. Well, you know, I'll be right there because now I have to try to find like a little leather jacket or something and I'm going to spike my hair and because it is very important that I dress for the dress the part, right? Oops. Did you notice that this orange isn't glued down? So I'll take the letters off and do after the flowers are in here. So let's just go, just keep kind of gluing these down. Right, just keep gluing them down and then fanning out some of the sections. There we go. Use my picker tool because my fingernails are too thick. I can't get under it. There we go. Move that down just a little bit. Put the pink one in. I would like some of that orange to show though, right? I really um, like this Gina K Connect glue, I have to say. I'm, well, I'm a huge fan of Gina K anyway. You want an amazing human being. And uh, I like her products too. So is anybody making with me tonight? Even if you're not using circles, is anyone scrapbooking? Um, is anyone uh, having family over tomorrow? East, any Easter egg hunts, any church things? What are you guys doing this weekend? What's happening in your part of the world? Devin and I are going to our Pitbull concert, and then I'm going to hang out at my brother's house on Sunday. I'm hoping we get to see my mother-in-law maybe tomorrow. Your card making, your crocheting. I am posted it already. I love it, Kim. I am so bummed. I can't go. Yes. And I'm going to, I think I'm going to go see my friend Valerie on Monday. What do you think, Val? 
Are you up for a visit? Do you like that I just invited myself to your house? If she will have me, I'm going to go see her on Monday. Do you, I bet she loves that. Oh, and by the way, I want to come to your house on Monday. So Valerie lives in the town of Lewiston. And they have this restaurant <laughs> that does the most amazing, amazing uh, eggplant thing that I ever have tasted, right? It's supposed to rain all weekend here. That's not fun. For my friends in um, Utah, is anyone here in Utah? All that freaking snow that you guys got. No, thank you. I would say no bueno to all that snow. What's Dingus Day? Okay, explain that to me. I have to to celebrate Dingus Day. I need to understand what the heck I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to glue these down too. So just a little bit of glue. Doop, doop. I have to celebrate Dingus Day. Dingaling Day. I don't know what that is. What is it, Valerie? Dinner on sun Saturday and Sunday. Yes, right. My hubby turns 80 tomorrow. Congratulations. Happy birthday to him. Vicky, that's very exciting. Okay, glue this down. There's one. My O is assembled. We have processions here in Antigua. Holy Week here is a big thing. Enjoy that. That's very exciting. You said you won't be able to understand all the words Pitbull is singing. It's all about the music. Try listening to Del Castillo. Castillo? Is that how you say it? Del Castillo? They have some beautiful music too. I will. I love it. I wish I could speak Spanish. Um, I've been making cards for, is it for Vida? Is that what it's for, Joan? I'm not sure what that is. Hi, Catherine. Uh, you have to finish watch off to see my middle school grandson in his school play, Matilda. That's very exciting. Enjoy that, right? That is very fun. I love these when they're finished. Look how fun. And I am going to put something in the middle of it. We'll decide in a second what I have that is a circle. Okay, so let's put, glue these all down. So I'm just gluing. Okay, that's all I'm doing is putting a little bit of glue on here. And this is, I have to tell you, this has become a favorite tool of mine. Your little pokey tool. Little pokey tool because it helps me, right, when I want to line anything up and move it around. And my big sausage fingers aren't working as well. And I don't have to press so hard, right? And the other thing I like, right, is my glue kind of bled out. So I'll just take my pokey tool and move that glue. So remember how I said about the beads? I'm going to have to look for some, but I might end up embellishing this with some seed beads. You know what I mean? Just put some glossy. Like, how fun would that be? Just bead some gloss. Let's see. Do we have any? We can test one. Let's see. Oops. I just stepped on that box of papery and threw on the floor. Let me look. Oh, I have glitter. I don't know if I have. I should have seed beads somewhere. I have glitter. Oh, I'll show you what I have. Because now I want seed beads, and of course, I don't think I have any. But this is what I did find. Because I don't throw anything away. Is what about some little glitter flakes? It's called vintage leaf glitter. But do I have all the colors I don't need? I don't know, because I would do totally do tone on tone with this. So let's see if Martha this would work. So what is Dingus? Dingus Day is a celebration of the ending of Lent season, similar to St. Bad Paddy's Day for the Irish. Okay, so if who is it for? 
if it's not for the Irish, who's Dingus Day? What, uh, look at, should I put some, could I pull some glitter? Let's test it on something. Veterans. I get it, Joan. That's what I thought you were talking about. I just missed it. Polish. Okay, I'm in. I'll celebrate Dingus Day. Especially if we can have, <laughs> on Dingus Day, if we can celebrate with some eggplant. Okay, so let's see if I was going to put down some glossy accents with some glitter in it. We'll see what this looks like. Okay, so I just pulled some glossy. Oop, Pinky's fingers don't work. Pulled some glossy. And now let's see if this looks good before I wreck my whole layout and put it on there. Ooh, that could be fun, friends. See? And then it will just sit in there. What do you think? So watch. That could be fun, don't you think? So we'll let that dry and we're going to test it. But don't you think that could be fun? Just put a little bit in some of these letters. I like it. Could be fun. We'll see. Your cat's name nickname is Dingus Bingus. We're red. We drink and then we eat eggplant. This will be my first official Dingus day here. Okay, so I have to wear red. Okay, I've got a red shirt. I'm in. Can I come and play? That'll be fun. Fun, fun. I might have to sleep over though now, Valerie. So I didn't only just invite myself, but it might be for a sleepover. You'll have to text me after so I know what's 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 what. What's what? But uh if I can get my work done this weekend, I will definitely be able to do it. I will definitely be able to do it. I love it, right? Oops. Please post a pic of you too. We will. You know, Valerie and I went to see Boy George and I made her wear uh, neon and 80s outfits. I didn't have to push too hard. She was, she was game. Valerie and I could get into a lot of trouble, I think. Don't you think, Val? But I am down to wear red and celebrate Dingus Day and eat eggplant. Yes, mandatory. I just cleaned all the sheets. You are good to go. Woo woo. I think it's going to happen. I think it's going to happen. Um, I think that would be fun, fun, fun. I have to go to the post office. That's all I have to do. Because um, I have to mail a kit. There we go. Boop. I'm loving this, friends. It's going to be pretty. It's going to be a pretty one. We're going to bling it up because sometimes super simple, right? Super simple. Basic shapes. This is why I love circles, squares, grids. It just makes design. It is one of the easiest design elements to use with maximum impact. I went, Devin and I went to visit my mom and my dad and the cat today. It was very nice to see my mamacita and my pops and my brother cat. My brother cat. Devin even went with me. It was very nice because I had to show her the pictures of the uh, space I'm looking at leasing. Very excited to get it out of my house. I'm hoping that everything goes through okay and it can work. Because remember, I keep telling you guys I really need to hire help. Well, it's much easier to have help when it's not in my house, right? Hi, Vicky. How are you? Greetings from Guatemala. I love it. Yes, add the glitter. You like it? Um, Lori, 
sunny autumn Easter weekend here in Sydney. Family get together tomorrow. That'll be fun, Susan. That will be fun. Do you guys celebrate Easter the same as like we do around here? Do you do Easter egg hunts? And because I know for some people it is definitely a religious holiday, and some people it's more Easter bunny holiday. Um, just depending, you know, all are welcome, whatever you guys celebrate. But uh yeah, I think that um, it'll be fun. I'm just very happy to get to see my family because with the vid, right, we had a lot of times that we weren't together and you can't get time back, right? And then next weekend, I'm teaching in Kitchener, Ontario, Canada at an event that uh, my lovely friends and her, my friend Lisa and her team put together in Kitchener at the auditorium it's called scrap fest i will be teaching all weekend three classes my friend natalie is going to come and help me and um it is going to be a lot of fun you have a lot of uh, stores that are there and uh, classes i have to reach out to lisa because i'm going to do some kind of big giveaway maybe like a gift certificate to my store in the crop room and i'm gonna have because it's local and i can drive anybody who's coming to take a class with me there'll be lots of giveaways in class too so be ready for it and if there's anything in my store that you want to order and you want me to bring with me just let me know and that will save you shipping as well for any of my friends that are going um, i will happily do that right anything to save you because like look at nobody can ever get mad at me in the shipping because I don't make a profit off of that, but I understand that it sucks. I would rather uh, pay for product rather than have to spend all the money on shipping. So if you're doing that, just let me know and I can bring anything you want with me. Yes, yeah, shopping, Natalie. Right? Yep, shopping. It'll be good. It is an amazing event with a lot of my uh, friends from the crafting community. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. I haven't glued that one down. Let's do the things. My letters are glued. Did I glue these down yet? Kind of. So put a little dot of glue behind there, stick that down and then do some foam dots. It's coming friends. You're taking a class on Saturday afternoon. I'm very excited. I am very excited. We will get to hang out and do this live and in person, right? Live and in person. It will be a lot of fun. Where do I, I kind of like that um, green leaf. I don't want to cover it, right? So let's put this guy right there instead. And maybe put that one like this instead. No, I didn't put anything under the blue layer, so I can't. Okay, let's finish this baby. Nope. Maybe. What about a pink one up here? That'll work. Yep, let's do that. Okay, so just take my little tool here, stick that under. Like that. That one too. Right? It's fun. I find this super relaxing. Uh, like I told you guys, like sometimes I don't craft as traditionally as I used to. Like I don't have to have a photo printed 
I can just make something because I like the product that I'm using. And then eventually I can add any kind of photo, anything in black and white. Like when you have a layout with all this color, black and white photos would be beautiful on here, right? So remember what I noticed is I did not glue the orange down yet. So let's tack that down. This is not, but I wanted to get these things. So look at friends. So if you don't like any of the things that I did, right? This is going to move over a little bit. Okay, love it. Let's go ahead. Tack the orange down. Oop, that guy, blue one wasn't attached. Oh, it is attached, but underneath. Okay, perfect. Now, things that could be fun if you wanted to, right? To kind of give, I might pop some foam dots underneath here, right? I kind of like the look that I can add light and shadow. And it's not going to be too bulky in my album. You don't have to put extra foam dots in here if you don't want to. But I am liking that um, it's lifting that back piece up a little bit. Right? So I'm going to do that. Just on the pink layer, I'm going to put a couple of strategically placed foam dots just to give it a little bit more dimension. Okay. Loving it. And now we can attach our letters. So two with these letters, right? Like, look at that, I think, going underneath a pink will be fun. Or you could put some on top, whatever you want to do. Let's look and see, because sometimes I'll say, oh, I like this, and then I'll get it down and go, yeah, I don't like that at all. Um, but I'm going to try it. Oop. I'm going to put the pink one there. And it's kind of centered, right, straight up and down. And then the O. Love it. So I'm going to fiddle with this for a minute. Like I said, when you're crafting live, like you're making live, it is a little harder. I'm going to make sure all the white or the white pops out. Does that look okay, guys? Do you think that's laid out? I'm going to stand up. Like to squeeze it in a little bit more right Oop. Be. it's hard you could use to the inside of the orange maybe for layering Right? Look at friends. Kind of, do you think? No, it's not big enough. I was gonna say would uh, that help me with lining them up, but I don't think so. I don't feel like that's over enough there. The E. H. And I'm going to just say it's good enough. <laughs> do, do. I think it's good, right? We'll just go with it. It is kind of got an Easter vibe, doesn't it? So I'm going to glue, just stick my glue stick behind it, holding it in place. It's all going to go in your page protector anyway, right? If you actually put your pages in an album. Is anyone else like me that you, I just have stacks of scrapbook pages, but I feel good because I look and Paige Evans, my friend, if you don't know who that is, who uh, this collection, some of these pieces are from her new collection. She will have a stack and she doesn't put them in her albums till uh, 
the end of the year. So I guess I'm not alone that I'm not the only one who uh, has stuff that doesn't make it into an album right away or ever. She's good though. She does eventually put it in there, but I am a bad girl. And that isn't always the case. Okay. Perfect. Love it. Okay. There, everything I think. Let's pick it up and see if Vicky glued everything down. You have stacks of them too. I'm not alone. Huge stacks. You too, Sarah. I know. Uh, it is It is me too. Same. Same Z's. Right? Same Z's. I get about 30 or so and finally put them in. Good for you. But you've seen how I, I craft, right? So here, closer look. Loving that. I love this. So yeah, you can stick around. You know, this gonna I'm gonna stay and play because I'm enjoying myself. So I want to finish it. I want to embellish this. So I have my I'm loving the green because it's pulling, look at the green in. I'm gonna put those like that. Yep, I like it. Let's commit the bottom of these because I can still slide a photo on. So now the song that's in my head is a Fergie song. <laughs> First class up in the sky, champagne, living a life. That's what song's in my head now. I don't know why or where it came from. So now we got to figure out what are we going to use? Because it's a little, I need a little frame or something. And then we need bling on here too. So what else did Vicky pull that she can use? Because now tonally, this is all the same. I'm done with this now. We need to go into something else. So let's look at my stack of junk stuff. Look at, Let's look at the stuff. Hello, happy true story. Look at, we can look at things. Nope, it's, I need something else. But look at, like things that are, I love. That was just like a little piece, which I can cut even smaller. But now that isn't all getting lost on there. So I like that. Gives me a home for my stickers. But I'll cut it down shorter so you still can see more of that pink. Right. But I like that. Right. That's fun. That might stay and I'll cut it down a story to tell. We'll see. This is what you see. I always have to pull my own stuff in it because I make layerable pieces. I craft with intention. I create my product lines with intention. You know what I mean? Um, if we do everything tonally the same, nothing's going to pop. So now we need to have these elements that pop out the top layer. So let's see what we have. You know what I mean? Like things, you know what I mean? Like this is too big, but look it. There's no reason that couldn't go in a clip like that. Maybe <gasps> I like it. I wish it was a little smaller. Hello today. True story. Nope. So what else do we have? Hello, just chilling. Look at that. I don't know. I'm going to put it there just in case. Some of the stuff is a little too big, but we'll figure it out. I'm just going to grab things that could work. Sweet life. Look how cute. Like the colors, right? Would be fun. Okay. Hello, this, this true story. Oh, maybe. And I like the black. Hello, 
below this true story. What do these things say? Get out and explore. Today was perfect. We need a something to go in the circle. So I'm also on the search for that. Something circular and fun. Is there anything? Because I want a circle. I would like a circle. Anything in the sticker book? Look at there's these two. Yay. Nope. I don't want words. We're close. We're close to complete. I want an arrow too. I would love an arrow. I will look because there's got to be ones. Oh, look it. There's an arrow there. So let's pull all this crap that I'm throwing on here. So we're going to commit to true story, right? Hello, true story. And then, um, hello, the true story. Hello. I think the could be, or this. What do you guys think? This. And Kari, I still, if you're still here, right? Look at, and then we have a pointer arrow. I like that. Now, I wish that my fonts were a little different. So we could take true story out and say something with else with a story. Watch this. What's What else could I put? I want to use story. Hello, this. Hello, this. Or we don't use story. Hello, this. And then we could use different letter stickers. Hello, this moment. Hello, this moment. Hello, this snapshot. What do you guys think? Hello, this life. Oh, I like that. Let's look. And then I could use those stickers I liked. Let me see. Hello, this. Didn't we just have good life? Look at this. No, because it have to be these good vibes, right? So let's look at life. I love these stickers. Like, love them with a the stitch. Very well done, Paige. Right? So I would like it, I think, in orange or green or yellow. Yellow might be good. Let's see if I can get all of them. There is a yellow L, a yellow I, a yellow, mm, there's no yellow F. So let's switch the colors out. That won't work. It's all pink. That sucks. Because I don't want to do rainbow. Do you know what I mean, friends? I don't really want to do rainbow. Hello, this is me. I like that. But now you get when I'm trying to use stickers that are here already. So we got to figure that out. All right. And I'm digging that very much because now it frames. So my title isn't just floating. And the white is nice. A little rest the eye. Hello, this. What do we decide? What are we deciding here? I like good vibes too. I'm just not sure if the scale is too big. Do I want this on here? I'm digging it. I'm going to pop up these corners so it doesn't get lost. like that. I'm even going to find photos and put photos on this tomorrow. I'll grab my printer out. 
right? And I know I want this. I like that. Hello, this. Because I like that little punch of black. And now we need, hello, this moment. Moment could work, right? Hello, this moment. I'm going to do it just for time's sake. We're just going with it. And I like the black. Uh, scissors, where are you? I like all of your suggestions. My only issue is I don't want to spell it out. So I want to use something I have, but all of those are perfect. Hello, this moment. Hello, this is us. I love it. I'm going to go with this just because I don't have to work hard at it. So I'll make the letters fit. Hello, this moment. Oops, it's my gluey fingers. I will use the line there. That's going to go on there like that. I will tighten the letters up so it all fits. Hello, this moment. And I will put a little band of color right underneath. Maybe something in green. What do we have? Anything? Mm-hmm. I love this. This this layout reminds me of like Hawaii, the tropics. My favorite thing is a scalloped border punch. I think that uh, everyone needs them. Good border punch. So I am going to show you what I would like to do down on the bottom there. One more. I'm going to cut a very narrow piece of that. Me in the pink dress from the cruise. That would be fun, right? Those would work. So I'm going to do a quarter inch ish of this and I'll show you what I want to do. Like, look at, it's just the little things. It really is layer, 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 and layer some more. So look at, and it just happened to be all XOs. So when I put that on here and I might trim it some more, and then moment will sit there, right? And this, and then I will cheat. And let's try to make that kind of terry edge. Is it enough? Maybe not. We could tear it. I like that. We could just, doesn't have to have a torn edge, Vicki. I just cut a straight edge on it. <laughs> I'm just going to cut it 20 million times. Thank you for you guys that are still here. I know some of you have dropped off because, again, Vicki wasn't going to be on here long. And then look at what ends up happening because I'm enjoying myself. I'll be on here until I'm not on here anymore. But I do like that kind of little punch up there of color. Um, I know I need something here. I'm just not sure yet. Something in here needs to go. And then I'm going to bling it. And then this layout will pretty much be done. But I need something. And really, I would like something black up here a little bit. So what could go in the mid? Oh. Like these are, oh, you know, it would be fun. I need a star or a heart in that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, look, if it had another one to go with it. Do you see what I'm saying? No, I actually don't think. Now that I did that, I'm not digging it. I'm not digging that, but. 
but we'll dig that these here somewhere maybe I don't know now is the time do you guys get to a point where I'm like okay I need to step away from it and figure out what I want to do but you guys get the gist of it right that's the gist of it and we still could put right as this dries I think that could be really fun let's just do that so I'm going to go and I'm going to feed oh the glossy accents really jams up you know what I I agree I really think that there's enough business going on that I don't know if I want anything in that O. I think I might embellish it if I can get the glossy working. Do you guys ever find that? It really clogs. Let's see. No, it's not going to work for you, Vicky. Like that. No, I think that it will get lost. I do love the blue clip, though. If I can get away with it it is going to go like that right oh that might be all we need to look I like that boop maybe vicky will be able to get this working Ugh. is dandy here hello dandy how are you my friend Happy Easter to you, right? And I saw Serenity is here, and I think Dawn is here. And I saw Danielle and Lindsay. Ah. Do you want funny? <laughs> so it did just take all the gold off the end of my... So, imagine that. <laughs> I'm going to add some little sparkles in here if i could get my glossy to work which it is not no, nothing is going in there and unclogging it right now so it's saying vicky that's it for tonight maybe one last try nope it is good and clogged yeah i can't get it see that went in and the other thing Vicky needs to do is go get glasses. I really can't see anymore. Let's see. That probably just, oh, got it working. Okay. So as my finishing touch, I am going to, oh my goodness, that's ridiculous. I just squirted a whole bunch out. And now guess what's happening? The gold from the paper clip is caught in there. Seriously, Vicky. Only you could do that. You weirdo. Yep, not working tonight. Okay, so I'm going to put some glitter in there. Hello, Lil. How are you? So I love this. I am very happy. I will finish. I will stick the bits down. Um, and I'm going to put a little subtitle too. Right? So it's going to be love this happy moment is what I feel like it needs to say. Do we have happy in color? Let's look. One more thing and then we'll, I will leave you for reals. For real, for real. Love this happy moment. Love this. Don't you agree? Like there just needs a little subtitle right there and it'll be perfect. It will be ready to go. I just have to find it. So that when you see this finished, that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put love this happy, special, fun moment. Some kind of, what is that called? An adjective? Is that what that is? 
and then this layout will be done. So a little closer look. It was a lot of fun. So what do we think about the no, new We Are Circle Cutter? I would say 10 out of 10. I love it. I love it. We'll see how long the blades last. I am going to order some extra blades. I Like I said, they're on vickybooten.com under what's new. Um, for the price, I think this will be invaluable. I'll be using this a lot. Very light, easy. If you're coming on the cruise to Alaska with me, you're going to get it. Paige, look what I just did. Here, friends, you were asking who I'm talking about when I'm saying Paige. There is Paige Taylor Evans. And do you see all of your yumminess on here? This is a Vicky and Paige party. Right? Vicky, I love these. They're freaking awesome. And then your, um, your um, ephemera pack, too. I absolutely love this. So, and if you don't have this yet, Paige, you need one. Um, I had to order it though. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, I kept trying to get one, but I had to order it. If you don't have it, you'll love it. So I feel like, yes, that, oh, look it. I tried to put the glossy down and it went in one bubble. So I'll have to fix that because Vicky wrecked that corner because uh, my glossy wouldn't work. But I absolutely love the style of these flowers, Paige. And I love this uh, set of yumminess. So like I said, guys, totally awesome. Paige knocked it out of the park with this collection. It is beautiful. I love it. Right? So um, that, I think, is it. So, oh, look it. I could put this, too. Hello, sweet. Hello, this sweet moment. Where did I put those other the stickers we were going to use? The true story. I don't know, but I think it's good. It's good. That was a lot of fun for somebody who wasn't going to come on Friday Night Live because I was tired, and I'm glad I did, and I really enjoyed that. So let me say good night to you guys and chat for a second. A very happy Paige came to say hi. If you love that stuff, you definitely want to go check her out because... It is a lot of Vicky and Paige on that page with Sweet Rush and Blooming Wild. Love it. Okay, here I come. Here I come to say goodnight. Here I come. Here I come, I think. Here we go. Hi, to save the day. How we doing? So that was fun. That really turned out. I will hold it up so you guys can see it in different light. But lots of stuff is not stuck down yet, okay? So it will be fun when it's done. Very bright, very fun. The circle cutter is, like I said, I'm loving it. So I love that. I will go add the correct collection if you guys want uh, a layout collection to bring to your next crop or whatever um, with the extras that I have from my Scrap Fest class. And other than that, have an amazing Easter weekend. I will not see you next Friday. I may do an impromptu Thursday night uh, because I, I'm uh, heading to Kitchener to teach this weekend. And then um, maybe it'll be the next two Thursdays and then a break because then I'm, I'm going on another cruise with my little girl who's not so little anymore. So uh, have a wonderful weekend. Um, we will see you Thursday night and then Thursday night. And uh, we still have to finish up our um, creative foundations stuff. So what I am thinking is I didn't do the wax paper resist, but I might just do, I'll do the wax paper resist next week quickly. And then maybe we'll make some projects from all of our mixed media art leading up to that. So I think it'll be a lot of fun. Thank you. Um, um, a thousand times thank you for joining me tonight. Uh, definitely leave a comment in the regular comment section on YouTube for uh, a chance to win one of the circle cutters. I'm going to give two away. And for a second chance or your first chance, depending where you're watching from, you can also leave a comment on Facebook. But here on YouTube, it's in the regular, not the live chat but in the regular comment section underneath the little square that shows uh, me talking, the video. Uh, and I will draw by next Thursday. We'll do it for next Thursday. 
uh, when I go live, I'll let you know who the winners are of the two circle cutters. If you haven't already, make sure you thumbs up the video. And if you haven't subscribed and you're not following, do that because we have lots of fun things that uh, are coming down the pipeline. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Thanks, as always, for joining me. That was lots of fun. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you next Thursday, not Friday. Okay, bye, guys. And thanks, Nat. Thanks, Natalie, for helping me out. We'll see you later.